Thanks to watchOS 5, the Apple Watch is now jam-packed with a ton of useful applications. But I feel there's still some apps that every user should at least download to get the most out of their Apple Watch. Hey, how's it going everyone? And for this video, I'm going to go ahead and go over six very useful applications that I personally use the most to go ahead and share it all with you guys. All these applications are in no particular order and are all free to download. And don't worry, these aren't cluttered with a bunch of ads. So let's go ahead and get started. This first one is called Voice Recorder, parentheses, recording app. Don't know why it has such a weird title, but just bear with me. All this app really is, it's just a recording app that actually has a couple of really cool features. If we look on our watch, we have the choice of either recording off our smartphone or recording off the Apple Watch that's on our wrist. If you hit the smartphone, wherever your smartphone is placed, you can actually simply tap record and your device will automatically begin recording. And once you're done recording, you can hit stop and that's saved on your iPhone. And you can also do the same thing with your Apple Watch. You could simply hit record and now it's recording directly off our wrist. And then as soon as we hit stop, it will actually organize everything for us automatically. The time and date, we're able to play, rename, and even send it to our iPhone where we can actually send it to other things like an audio file. It's a really great app. And yes, you can also include this in the Apple Watch complications on uh, supportive Apple Watch faces though. For some reason, not all Apple Watch supports these complications, but the mainly the big popular ones are supportive and you can simply tap it right here and it will automatically launch the app and begin recording really quickly. For our number two app is the ESPN app. Why? Because let's say you might be at work or you could be in class while a game is playing. That's why. Trust me, this application, if you're into sport, comes really useful whenever you're, you're in those situations or scenarios where you don't want to take out your phone to be a huge distraction or get in trouble. This way you could take a quick peek on your wrist and find out the game score and see all the latest reports all off your wrist. You don't know how many times this thing saved me. Our number three app is a translation app. It's called iTranslate Convert. If you have a solid internet connection and you happen to be using the newest Series 4 Apple Watch, everything should be translating really quickly. Me personally, I'm bilingual and I'm actually quite surprised how quickly this thing is able to translate languages off the fly. Let's say, how are you doing? Como te va? Yo soy bien, y tú? I'm fine and you. And the cool thing about this application is that you can actually 3D press it so if it's a more difficult language and the watch might be having issues, you can actually manually swap the languages, vice versa. And this application not only speaks to you but it also translates everything for you to view off your wrist. And it also rotates so if there's a gentleman or a madam or any person in general in front of you, you, you could actually show them the watch and it will rotate on their side so they can always read what you're saying. And for a free app, this thing is definitely solid. From what I've seen, this thing outperforms whatever Google was trying to do with those earbuds. The fourth app I want to go ahead and show you guys is Draft. What Draft is, basically it's a dictation app that allows you to take notes all off your wrist and you can read it to yourself later on throughout the day. So if we hit the little microphone icon, it's now recording everything we're saying and dictating it to text. And then down here, we see the inbox. If we tap on this, you'll see the text right here and you can actually tap on it and read whatever you said. Then if we go down, we also get the option to A pen or pre -ten. If we A pen, we're able to continue the list and now it's listed on the bottom and pre will we'll actually move everything all the way on top if we need to add stuff on top. And there you go. And then you can also flag it as well as trash it. If you trash it, if you open up the companion app on your smartphone, you could actually recover it. So not bad for a free app that allows you to do text to speak, to take quick notes and add on to those notes if you ever need to. So our next app is Shazam. Yes, I'm talking about the music one. I know some of you guys might be saying, well, Siri could do that. Well, if you ever try doing that with Siri, Siri will actually require you to go on your smartphone in order for her to listen to the song and give you the track's name and artist. With the Shazam app, there's no need to go through those extra steps. Simply tap the little screen and let it listen and it's gonna display you the artist, the song, and as well as provide you a little preview for you to listen to it, make sure you got the right song. Still a very useful app to finding out the track information on the song, and is a lot quicker than taking out your phone. Now this final one, no smartwatch will be complete without it, is a calculator app. 
The calculator is the one I personally use the most since it has a really similar design and look like the OEM one that's default on our iPhone. And uh, yeah, there really isn't much to really say about it. Everything here is pretty straightforward. It's a calculator, which I believe, once again, is a must for smartwatches. But that's pretty much my list of most used apps for the Apple Watch series. Let me know down in the comment section if you have an application you want to recommend. I might feature it in a future video. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it that big thumbs up as it not only lets me know, but also helps support the channel. And if you're not following me on social media, feel free to do so. I'll include everything in the video description down below. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome, do hit that subscribe button. As I always make sure to cover all the latest tech products, accessories, share some DIYs, pretty much anything tech related with you guys. Once again, thanks everyone for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.